This is a packet of alfalfa sprouts. How many people know what these are? Have you ever eaten them? One, two, three. Oh, that's quite encouraging. Right. Do you know why you can't buy them in supermarkets? Not anymore, anyway. Not for the last, well, some supermarkets for about five years and one supermarket with a branch not a million miles from here for the last year. I'll tell you a very sad story. Alfalfa, it's, it's an Arabic word originally. It means father of all foods. It's absolutely chock full of vitamins, minerals, enzymes. Sprout, plants at this stage of their life have the maximum concentration of nutrition. They're good for you. They, they even are good for healing all kinds of things that I'm not allowed to mention by law because uh, the trading standards man would be happy, uh, would be after me, um, whether they're true or not. Uh, they have a lovely crunchy flavour, te texture, a mild flavour. They're, they're um, great in sandwiches. Have a taste if you've never tried them before. Four years ago, um, a large, well, the largest retailer in the world said there's a recession on in Europe. Nobody will want organic food. Nobody will want niche foods. We're going to stop selling this stuff. So they told their English, or their British, should I say, subsidiary that these things were to go out, despite the fact that they were selling well. And ever since then, the anti-organic marketers and farmers have been telling us organic food sales have been dropping. People can't afford it in a recession. It's a luxury. It's a niche product. But then if the largest retailer in the, year, in the world decides not to stock something, of course the sales go down. That's where people go to shop. Then last year, you may remember, there was an outbreak of food poisoning in Germany. A lot of people died, it was a very serious thing. And initially the government in this country said you shouldn't eat any kinds of sprouted seeds without cooking them first. Well, I can't, I can't uh, argue with that. They needed to investigate it, find out what had gone wrong. Within about three weeks, they changed that advice. We know now where this food poisoning came from. It came from fenugreek seeds from Egypt, which hadn't been tested. They'd been just imported into the country and sold direct to consumers. Um, they'd also been used by uh, a bean sprout f a firm in Germany. That was all sorted. Then the upshot of that was that we thought, well, that, that's done now. Um, we'll be back where we were before. Um, but no, the big buyers from the supermarket said, we don't want to uh, even think about bean sprouts anymore however good they are for you, however safe they are, however many thousands of pounds people like me spend every year testing them to make sure they're safe. We're just going to keep away from them. The only thing we possibly consider stocking is ones that have cooking instructions on so that um, that will make them safe to eat. It'll kill the bugs and it'll also remove half the nutrition. So that's the situation we're in. Four, four or five years ago, I invested a lot of money in um, uh, expanding my business to supply bean sprouts to supermarkets. Everyone warned me that I was getting into bed with the enemy and how right they were. I'm now on the verge of going out of business because this excellent food is denied to you. That's my rant. If you have any questions I'd, or if you want to come and talk more about bean sprouts, come and see us on stand 52 just outside the market hall.